Good morning. My name is Jenna Fabian. I'm a senior at Luella High School in Henry County, Georgia. I'd like to extend my thanks and gratitude to GSBA and the Executive Director, Ms. Valerie Wilson, for allowing me to participate, participate in today's gathering. I would also like to acknowledge the members of the Henry County Board of Education who are here with us today. I'd like to take a little time today to share with you my story, a story made of moments, and to illustrate how those moments were made possible because of my experience in public education. I was born in Brooklyn, New York, and you wouldn't know this today, but my arrival into this world was two months premature. I weighed a mighty three pounds and nine ounces. Yes, lighter than a five pound bag of sugar. <laughs> and it's not that I remember what my birth was like, but it was that my arrival into this world was marked by challenge and difficulty. I spent several weeks in the NICU with my parents, faithfully and prayerfully pulling for my survival. So as you can imagine, it was a very exciting day when they could finally cradle me in their arms and leave the hospital so we could begin our life as a new family. But as we left the hospital full of hope, what they eventually learned was that their baby girl would lead a life requiring that she overcome a variety of physical and learning challenges. That little girl is me. And this is the very first critical moment of my life that I would like to share with you. And as we all live our lives and pursue our ambitions, I learned that moments can actually define us. But I have not let that particular moment define me. Because as you can see today, I am still here, I'm thriving, I'm doing better and getting stronger. I am very grateful today for my mom and dad who did everything within their power to ensure that my early circumstance was not a permanent reality. My mom researched everything she could to stretch my abilities beyond perceived limitations. To this day, I distinctly remember being in Jamboree class, looking around, knowing that I was going to work harder than all of my classmates and maybe do just a little bit better than them as well. And that leads me to moment number two. My parents decided to relocate from New York to Georgia. And I have to be honest, I often wondered why Georgia? Their responses have always been to provide me with a better quality of life. And I guess that includes less snow shoveling and to get away from cold winter mornings. But we did in fact find better quality of life, better opportunities and higher level quality education right here in Georgia's public schools. Which brings me to moment number three, when I decided to drop out of school. Yep, in third grade, <laughs> I decided that I was done. And if I can recall, it was the introduction to multiplication facts that had me feeling like enough was enough. Can anyone else relate? <laughs> when I struggled to memorize my multiplication facts, I told my parents and my teacher that I was done. Dropping out and done for good. I realize now that that would not have been a good idea but it took my co-teacher, Ms. Tiffany Early, and my mom to hold my hand and push me further. I have to tell you that there isn't a day that I don't still feel the warmth of the hand that Ms. Early extended to me. I can feel it pressing in and comforting me as I sit for my SATs and write college applications. I even felt it as I walked onto stage today. And as I look around the room, I can think about the many other students in Georgia who have had the benefit of a teacher who pushed them, a teacher who wouldn't let them quit, left it, lifted them higher, and helped them to believe in themselves. Because of Ms. Early, I know that I can do hard things. I can conquer my fears. This moment happened in the classroom, but for me, other defining moments happened on stage. Moment number four was made possible by my music teacher, and perhaps other students can relate to the impact of fine arts teachers like mine. When I was nine years old, fortunately having not dropped out of school the year prior, my chorus was invited to perform at the governor's mansion. I don't remember what we sang, but I remember what that moment meant to me. It represented hope and possibility. 
Because I can tell you that I would have never in a million years believed that just nine years later, I would be sharing a stage with the governor of Georgia. But this time, following his remarks, but again, it was moments like this that have helped me make me who I am today. The pinnacle of my academic career is moment number five, and it happened in the seventh grade. Yes, the seventh grade shaped the trajectory of my life forever. I was at my first HOSA competition, and after a mishap of missing the middle school signup, I ended up competing in the overall division with high schoolers. I was just 12 years old. I immediately convinced myself that competing would be a waste of time, but I looked around and realized that I could work harder than anyone else in there, and that is just what I did. Winning third place recognition and sparking my interest in the CTAE healthcare pathway, and now my future plans to major in healthcare management with a concentration in physical therapy. I learned I could lead, I could outwork, and I could adapt to pressures all while igniting a passion for healthcare that will last with me for a lifetime. This has all led up to a series of secondary school moments, which all started to converge. I was participating as a competitive track athlete, and yes, I did go undefeated in the girls' 800 meter dash in my eighth grade year. <laughs> I also completed the three year healthcare career pathway and have been involved in sports medicine, student government, the Black Student Union, cheerleading, HOSA, and dual enrollment. They have all gave me exposure, fostered my passions, and provided me a vision for my future. But they are all a testament that my beginning moment was not my defining moment. Obviously, the doctor's outlook has been shattered because I am standing here today not only because I learned in Jamboree class that I could outwork anyone and outrun anyone, and not because I didn't drop out in the third grade, although that would have clearly prevented this. I'm here today because of my faith in God, the support of my parents, Donna and Frey Pell Fabian, my family, especially my aunt who is here with me today, and my teachers, specifically Miss Early, Mr. Nash, Miss Sewell, and Miss Bratton because of the people along the way that held my hand and the teachers, counselors, school leaders, and educators that do the same thing for students across the state. Like all seniors today, the best class, class of 2023, our high school experience could and probably should be defined by the moment caused by the worldwide pandemic. Disruption, separation, anxiety, depression, and lack of motivation. I felt it, my friends felt it, and I'm not sure there is any graduating senior that didn't. But we are all still graduating seniors. And this country and our state should not take for granted the perseverance, strength, and determination that is found in the core of all of us. We will walk across the stage in just six short months. Teachers never stopped holding our hands. Counselors never stopped pushing us, and principals never stopped reinventing everything they could to create new moments, new memories, and a chance to succeed. And that brings me to this moment, standing here on stage, speaking in front of the people who make public education possible, boards of education. I've never had to stop and think about where it all began, what we learn, if we learn, who teaches us, what activities we have access to, what expectations are set for classrooms across my school or across an entire district. It is you. So if no one has thanked you lately, on behalf of the 1.7 million students in public education in Georgia today, thank you. Beginning moments, motivational moments, learning moments, and defining moments are all made possible by your work as board members. And thank you to all of the educators in Georgia who make those moments possible. Moments for me and all students who are counting on hands to be held, chorus concerts to be performed, HOSA and track competitions to be hosted, AP courses to be available, dual enrollment options, extracurricular activities, and moments to be nurtured along the way. Thank you for creating conditions for all students to learn every day, surrounded by the most amazing people who build dreams create visions, and make impossible moments possible moments for all students today. Have a great conference, and thank you again for the honor to join you.